Alrighty, folks, Mr. McStash. And we're out riding a motorcycle again. As you can see, I have my work attire on, so I just uh, just left the workplace. We're headed for a little ride. Taking a long way home. And I wanted to have a little conversation about lean angles, uh, lean specifics, the uh, geometry of leaning your bike. Oh, you didn't know? I was on a ride not too long ago with a couple other people, and a gentleman said to me, Mr. McStars can ride. I didn't think Ohio had curvy ropes for you to be able to learn how to ride like that. I'm just kidding. He didn't sound like that. No, I'm, I'm not being mean. I'm uh, just talking. But the point I want to make is two things. Yes, Ohio does have some curvy roads. We have some awesome curvy roads down in the southeast which is border with Kentucky and West Virginia in that area so yeah we got some curves but if you want to learn how to do your turns not necessarily curvy road is where to do it it can be done in a parking lot oh uh, I'm sure you've seen it skill tests skill maneuvers uh, that type of thing. There are several ways to enter a curve while moving. If you uh, learn your slow speed maneuvers, you will know what your bike is capable of and what you are capable of on your bike. Oh, now, as far as that goes, that will give you a talent beyond belief. Um, advanced rider courses. Everybody talks about taking the... Uh, rider safety course do that do that do that do that it is amazing it can teach you more than anybody can talk you to um, after that there is also advanced rider courses which will work on your techniques as an advanced rider now there are three travel there are three ways to take a turn neutral like i did that one where you keep your body in a straight and lean the bike your slow speed maneuvers will help a ton with that. Bike leads you stay up in the middle. Now there's the uh, counterbalance that I don't know what the other one where you lean into it. Um, you can do like the knee draggers, Moto GP, where you lean off the bike, less lean angle on the bike, more lean angle on your body. That is like this. That is especially good if you are in some tight turns and tend to drag on your bike. Uh, Grace here has some big, big pipes on it and it tends to drag if you get, if you get into a corner too hard. So therefore I will throw my body which allows me to turn sharper or turn sharp without throwing the bike as much. There's also a counter steer, which is uh, really nice when changing quickly. Uh, that's used more by like the super bike, super moto guys. Uh, these these are all different techniques. Where if you want to show off, maybe I'm just kidding. Why would you do that? You can always get a bigger lead angle by throwing your bike and counter steer with your mind. Hey, horsey. You guys see that? I got a 360 camera, so I can do that. <laughs> I don't know what kind of lane, air, lane angles they use, but I'm sure it's a little bit different. <laughs> but, no, these, these are all different steering techniques. There's also a uh, slight break to look throw the balance of the bike forward, throttle through the turn to stand the bike back up. There's all kinds of 
techniques that can be studied and learned about turning the pipe. You do not need necessarily curvy roads to do that. You just need time to do that and learn how to do that properly. If you see there, you can move it both. Move it clean. This thing on top of your head is a big weight. Um, it will make a big difference just throwing your head around. Something here in the road. Ah, that'll bring you to another thing. Do not stare at that. If you, which, where you look is where your bike will go. So if you stare at that, trying to avoid it, you will not. You will run into it. So there's another quick tip. But as I said, I am not here to instruct. I'm here to inform. Now, an instructor is what you want for instruction. So if you are not in a curvy part of America, so to speak, um, and you want to do, want to learn more control of your bike, yes, advanced rider safety courses are the way to go. Um, practice, 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 practice makes perfect. Practice how you get to Carnegie Hall. <laughs> no, practice, folks. If you want to be an efficient bike rider, practice, practice, practice. There is no substitute for practice. The guy asked me the other day, he said, uh, is it true if you uh, push right, you turn left, or push left, you turn right? And I, I, I don't know. I, I, why, what do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. He said, if you push on your handlebar with this hand, the bike go that way. Yes, it does. Uh, I had actually told him I didn't know and had to pay attention next time I went out and tell him, yes, that is correct. If I take this hand, push on the bike, it goes that way. If I take this hand, push on the bike, it goes that way. Uh, yes, it does work that way. That That, that is why I tell you I'm not going to give you instructions on maneuvering and, and riding the bike because that is not my forte. Like I said, I have forgotten. It's become second nature. I should say I forgot. It's become second nature to me. So it is something just done, not thought about. Um, love on your family. Check on your buddy. When you get back out there, keep it rubber side down. This is Mr. McStash with a 360 camera view. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you on the next. Bye-bye.